No. And that's that's what I teach my kids as well. And I've, you know, that's what I've spoke. I said to her when she she expressed that this kind of thing has happened to her. She, I, that's what I told her. You know, you can't allow them to to change who you are and how you behave. So just keep on um, blocking them, reporting them, making sure that you know you don't allow that behavior to change yours. That's all. That is a cute. Say again, Sharon. I was just going to say, sometimes you just ignore them. It's so beneath you. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, it, as I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you, uh, Inga, I'm sure you know this, but um, that's my phone. Now, it turns out, because I wouldn't know this because I haven't got an app or phone like that, but pretty much within the first or second message, someone that has nefarious purposes of any sort will ask for your WhatsApp number. (laughs) You're both nodding. Tell me how it works out for you, Sharon. It doesn't work out. Um, I, I just ignore it. Again, if you say, I'm not going to give you my number, then the exchange is just going to continue. And it's not in my nature, in my Canadian nature, not to be polite and ignore. But these are things you have to ignore. Mm. This is not the purpose of the platform to exchange phone numbers. Mm -hmm. You see that, and this is the thing, it's seen as being different from giving your phone number but of course it is your phone number and so right next you think it's i missed the last word sharon i said one thing is going to lead to the next at first they're going to get your phone number then they're going to want to know where you live what's your area code what is your zip Code, what do you think they're going to stop at a phone number? Mm. You, you, you end this before it can continue to escalate. This is not the purpose of LinkedIn. Now, I, yeah. no, well, well, I was just going to say, Inga, you must have a different view of this because of the business you're in. Um, <laughs> when someone asks me for my WhatsApp, uh, my WhatsApp contact, I tell them no. I prefer to stay on the platform because I feel like um, when you go to WhatsApp, it's it's opening a doorway, right? And and also the thing is on WhatsApp, you can encrypt messages. Right. Yeah. the The messages can be encrypted. So, like, is it is it possible for me to then? Um, report them because the thing is at the end of the day I gave them my number if Mm. we went on to WhatsApp right Um, then do I feel like maybe I can't report them or maybe I shouldn't report them because then I'm I'm I basically open my up myself up to that right so I yes and I refuse I just refuse to go on to WhatsApp I I refuse to go outside of LinkedIn if you and I met on LinkedIn and we don't really have that rapport. We haven't built anything. Why should I get into contact with you on other platforms? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Because yeah. I, I need to, I need to vet that person, right? And the only way that I'm going to vet them is if we have more interaction mm. first. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but for me, so when someone offers me a connection request, unless it's cryptocurrency or one of these foreign exchange ones, because I just don't pay attention to them, but people connect with me, and if they DM me, I say, oh, let's have a chat. You know, I like to have a chat because so much is communicated Yes. that it becomes incredibly difficult for that person to maintain their charade. Yes. Okay, let me give you a alarming figure based on your story about your daughter, Inga. So it's been reported it's been reported three times on the BBC this year that 
So you go to high school at 11 in this country. Parents are giving their children their old smartphones from about seven to play games, watch YouTube, whatever it might be. 